Red Cross 97 operates in the most security conscious region of Ethiopia. Based at Asmara, the capital of Eritrea, her main port of call is a Saab. From there, she carries her cargo to mountain airstrips, places like Makali and Aksum, two towns in the heart of Tigray, an area torn by droughts and internal conflicts. For the first few weeks, the Hercules operates perfectly, but then a turbine blade on number one engine breaks and damages a number of other blades. The engine has to be replaced. Up. Up. Changing an engine is an exacting task at the best of times. It becomes even more difficult when the only heavy lifting gear available for hire is a relic from the 1930s. Into the afternoon they work, not knowing that all of this will be in vain. Their luck is about to go from bad to worse. On its initial start, the replacement engine too will fail, and an urgent call will go out for another to be sent. With home base on the other side of the world, the crew knows it will be days, even weeks, before they get airborne again. A feeling of bitter disappointment overtakes the Australian camp. Fortunately, the grounding of the Hercules doesn't have a major impact on the relief operation. The International Committee of the Red Cross has other aircraft to temporarily take over and distribution of food and seed grain continues uninterrupted. This grain being unloaded at Asmara Airport will be airdropped by a Belgian Air Force Hercules at Sokota, a remote mountain village. <laughs> The Belgians are flying three missions a day and they afford a spectacular view of the mountains and deep valleys that are a feature of these northern regions. strip at Sakota straddles a tabletop mountain and the crew has to contend with fierce crosswinds and updrafts. With the drop to be made only 20 meters above the airstrip there's no room for even the slightest error. Dropping from such a low altitude and by using specially reinforced sacks, the Belgians have drastically reduced the wastage of grain from breakages. Each drop consists of 480 sacks. This will help to keep 800 people alive for up to a month. 